What's going on guys, it's Decap, and today I'm going to bring you a first impression review of the ADARC Fusion Synthesis Arcade Stick. If you guys never heard of ADARC, ADARC is a company that teamed up with Canva back in 2011 to introduce a great line of arcade sticks. The Fusion is ADARC's top of the line stick and uses genuine Sanwa JLF joysticks and OBSF30 buttons. Not only that, but the Fusion is one of the only sticks on the market that is dual modded right out the box, meaning you could use it to play games on your Xbox 360, PS3, your PC if you wanted to. So here's the shipping box that it came to me in. Obviously it's a very straightforward box. You can't really expect much from a shipping box. There was no damage done to the box. Can't wait to look inside it. Alright, now that we checked out the shipping box, let's check out the actual packaging box. It's very clean, it's very nice. I'm usually not a fan of packaging boxes, you know what I mean? I would just rip it right open, just get right into it. But with this, I wanted to be more careful with it. I'm definitely gonna save the box for later on. It's that nice to me. As you guys can see, it has the ADARC logo right on it. So here we go, pop the lid open. And right off the bat, you guys see the big ADARC logo. And when you open it up, you got this nice little cover to protect your fight stick from the shipping. Also, it has a hole for the joystick, which is pretty nice so the joystick doesn't move around and all that good stuff. It's the little things you gotta appreciate. And let's take off this cover, bam! There's the fight stick. There's also a package. We'll get to the fight stick in a minute. Let's check out the contents of this package first. So first it comes with two button plugs for those people that like playing on a six button layout. Plug up your two right buttons real quick if you want to. It also comes with a cleaning cloth which is real nifty because I actually like wiping down my fight stick after I use it every time. So it's nice that they threw that in there as a bonus. Last and not least it comes with a headset which is pretty good which is pretty cool actually because all you ordered was a fight stick so they actually took the consideration to throw in a nice little headset which is real nice but anyway let's get to the actual arcade stick itself so i have to point this out real quick before i take this out of the box if you grab these two handles right here or whatever that's protecting the stick you could actually just lift it right up which is real nifty i love the fact that adark took the customer into consideration like that and here is the actual adark fusion synthesis fight stick very nice as you guys can see, it uses a clear ball top, Samwa joystick. It actually uses a square gate. Uh, I actually use an octagonal gate, so I'm gonna have to pick one up. But for those that use a square gate, you guys are gonna absolutely love this. Most stock uh, sticks off the market come with a square gate anyway, so it's not really a big deal, deal to me that I have to buy an octagonal gate. As you guys can see, here's the Samwa OBSF30 buttons. They use the clear buttons for the Fusion Synthesis fight stick. Just to let you guys know, they also have this model in uh, black and white, so it's not limited just to the clear ones. Alright, so let's take a closer look at these top buttons over here. So over here you have the home button, the turbo button, the select button, and the start button respectively. And on this side over here, you have the switch that lets you switch it from the Xbox 360 or the PS3 or PC or whatever. So with a simple flick of the switch, it allows you to play on multiple consoles just like that. Now, one thing I immediately noticed was the location of the USB cable of this arcade stick. As you guys know, on the Mad, Mad Cats or the Hori, the USB compartment is usually generally in this vicinity over here. But on the ADARC, for some reason, it's on the side. It doesn't look like it's that big of a deal, though. It looks like it's not going to be a concern when it comes to playing. It doesn't look like it's going to get in the way. I'm not really sure why they put it on the side over here, but I'm sure ADARC had their reasons. Now, if you look on the bottom over here, the whole bottom cover is made of like a suede felt material, which is real nice. So when you put it on your lap, it won't slide as much as it normally would like on a Mad Cats because those are just bare metal bottoms. Now, before we get to the input test, being that this is a dual modded fight stick out of the box, I wanted to make sure that it worked on every system that it advertised without any type of issues, without any real delay. I wanted to make sure that it read the fight stick immediately. So let's check this out. All right, I guess we'll test it on the 360 first. So first, make sure you got it set on the Xbox 360 setting, and then you grab the USB, and then you simply plug it in. Got just plugged it in now and there it is, already reading it. As you guys see, it's working fine. There it is. 
bam. Let's pull it out and then plug it right back in. Just pulled it out, plugging it back in. And there it is. So as you guys can see, it reads it perfectly fine on the Xbox 360, reads it instantly. Let's switch over to the PS3 now. All right, now let's test out the PS3. So obviously we gotta flip it over to the PS3 setting. Then we just plug it in. And bam, there it is, automatically read it. Read it faster than it did with the, than it did with the 360 or whatever. Let's try it again. Look at that, it reads it almost instantly. Gotta love it, one more time. Wow, whatever P, whatever PCB they're using for this thing, it is a, it's amazing. Anyway, let's move on to the PC now. And here's the PC test. Bam, basically reads it instantly. One thing I did notice though, there is no LED indicator to let you know that it is working, but I assure you once you plug it in, it is working. Once you're checking the properties, you will see it plugged in. All right, now that we know that the PC, the 360, and the PS3 can detect the arcade stick without any problems, let's get to the actual input test. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh my God, man, why does this feel so good to me right now? This feels so much better than my other fight stick. This is crazy. Pulled the combo off on the first try and I rarely play Batman. So far, I am loving this stick. It's very smooth, but I'm not totally convinced yet. I'm gonna play on it for a couple more days to give it a more accurate assessment or whatever. So hopefully after a couple days, I'll still be loving it just as much. So after three days of playing on this arcade stick, I could tell you guys, I am absolutely in love with this. Compared to my other fight stick, which is a Mad Cat Street Fighter Cross Tekken Pro, it just feels so much more stable, more solid. I'm not sure if it's the extra three pounds in weight, but it just feels so comfortable on my lap. Yet at the same time, the extra weight is not a burden. Like I could just go for eight hour sessions straight with no problems. Honestly, if you love fighting games, you should go out and buy one of these right now. These sticks, I feel like should be the standard in arcade sticks. I mean, even if you're new to fighting games and want to step your game up to the next level, I guarantee you this stick will help you do that. There's no doubt about it. If you guys are interested in ordering an 8-Arc Fusion Synthesis Fight Stick, I'll leave a link to the product in the description. It retails for $199.95. I know it's a little pricey, but... It's well worth the price. One, it uses top of the line arcade parts. Two, it's dual modded out of the box. If you buy a regular arcade stick right now and want to pay to get it dual modded, you're gonna have to pay $100 or something like that anyway. So this is well worth the money. If the Fusion Synthesis or the clear look isn't for you, they also have it in ebony and ivory, which is black and white respectively. And it's also a little bit cheaper. So I'll leave links to that in the description as well. But anyway, this was my review of the ADARC Fusion Synthesis Arcade Stick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this review video, leave some likes. If this actually made you want to go buy this fight stick right now, leave some likes as well. Also, remember to leave some comments, negative or positive. It's always appreciated.